Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a, I'll say it's it's a mix. I didn't want to do these separately because I don't feel like I got enough of the other to do it on its own. So I thought I'll do this as a collective haul. So there's going to be Killstar in this guys, including Killstar that I've got and not showed on my channel. So I will quickly show you that. And it's going to be boohoo and just two little orders from Simply B. That is it. Now, I've never ever bought from Simply B. I have seen a lot of their posts popping up on Instagram and some of their clothes have been really, really nice. Um, but upon going on there and checking like reviews, some of I've not really bothered. Even though they looked nice on the picture, their reviews kind of made me give it a pass. But I have got two items and it is literally two items. Now, this item, guys, I already own and I got it from JD Williams. But I bought it when it was on sale, which was a while ago now. Um, but what I didn't realise when I finally started to wear when I started to wear it was the collar here was just a little bit, it was like this, it was twisted. And no matter how much I've ironed it to keep it straight, it just always falls into that twisted position. So when I seen it on Simply B, again on sale, I thought, oh, because I didn't have it on JD Williams when I went back to have a look. So I ordered it again. I checked it before, before I decided to keep it and it's fine. As you can see, it's not twisted in any way. As the other one was like, it was like, I can't explain it. But I just went for a high necked, plain, black top and I like these because they go really really nice under pinafore dresses um, with nice with this skirt or maybe with a gillet on um, I just love plain black tops I just think they just I just like them you can do anything with them you can accessorize with them so this was really inexpensive I think it was literally about four pound twenty they don't have the details in front of me but I do remember it being around the four pound mark so that is that that's the first one and then the second one I spotted it as I was coming off I did order a few other things from Simply B which will not be in this um, haul but I will mention it when I do it in another video so it has does it have details on this so oh there yeah, that just says the neck top and it's a size 16 that was that black one this one that I'm going to do next um, is the pumpkin t-shirt so I spotted this and I was like oh I know it's not Halloween but every day is Halloween when you're um, gothic, gothically inclined darkly inclined so I thought I'll have me a bit of that so I grabbed this and I was like oh, oh I like it I like it it's a shame that the gold is gold I would have liked it if it was in silver or preferably red or green or blue but hey ho it's in gold it's pretty I like it this is a size medium but as you can see it's it's not it'll fit me guys and I think it'll just be a nice snuggly fit uh, and by the time Halloween comes it'll fit even perfect because I would have lost a lot of weight hopefully by then uh, this was super cheap as well guys I think this is £6.50 so it costs less than £10 for them two tops so I was I was chuffed with that um, and I paid outright. I didn't. I didn't take credit or anything like that. I just paid outright. And um, yeah, I'm happy now. I can get it in my drawer and wear it. I will try it on, guys, and see what it looks like. So that was the only two clothing items I got from Simply B. Obviously, I'll feature the rest in another video. Right. I'm gonna move on to Boohoo, guys. So I went on to Boohoo. I I do certain. I just sometimes like to search the web. Usually at night when I've, I've not got much to do and I, I don't want to spend too much time on social platforms, I'll come off Facebook or whatever and, and YouTube and I'll just go on and have a look at things that I might find interesting or pretty or nice. I do still support small independent businesses, but at the minute I don't personally need any more jewellery. I've got quite a lot of jewellery going on now. But there is, I still want to jump back into Ralph Mail because she's got some viking ruins things going on there um there's a few businesses that i've always supported i will dive back into if not this year it'll be next year because i did say this year was going to be a complete break from jewelry and stuff but so i went on to boohoo and i went looking on the sales like you do and i found two tops that i was like oh i like them 
and they were five pound each so i put them in my basket and then i found this dress and i was like oh it looks like the dress i've just ordered from shein but different now i didn't realize i've got them on hangers already because i've took about the packaging guys so there's no packaging i've took it out already i have attempted to film this once already didn't like it so i've scrapped it but i took it out of the packaging guys i've literally just thrown the packaging away this came as two in one and that's what made it so appealing so this is the dress and it's a red tartan dress with a little split on the front there um it's very much like the purple one that i've just bought from shein very much like it exactly the same kind of material i think this one is a little bit more durable and then it comes with this crop top it's actually a crop roll neck top that goes underneath it now this obviously really appeals to me there's no thumb insert which i do wish there was but yeah i like this it looks nice together i've not tried this on yet guys i am dying to try it on but you could wear a red roll neck top with this or possibly a white roll neck top with this you could mix and match it and just be completely different or an orange one do you know what I, mean? I don't have an orange one i do have an orange jumper but I may have a look and see if I can find an orange roll neck. £18.70 guys. And that was on the sale I think. So and bearing in mind that was for two pieces of clothing. So you got the dress and the top for that price. So yeah I was I was happy about that. So that was that guys. And then I thought oh I'll just grab these two because they look really nice. So I grabbed these two like ribbed. I really do like ribbed tops. I don't know what it is. I just really like ribbed tops and I like high neck. And I love cold shoulder, as you know. And this is completely cold shoulder. I'm dying to try these on. No thumb certs. Again, I wish they had because it looked pretty cool with this kind of design. So this, it just says it's the cut out detail rib knit jumper, extra large. These were five pound each. They did have different colours. I can't remember if they. Ha I don't think they had a red because if they did, I would have bought it. You know, I would have bought it. But they did have a red. But I may go back on and see if they've still got that deal on and see what other colours they did have. But I bought a blue because I do like a bit of blue every now and again. I do own a couple of blue dresses. I do put on blue shoes. Um, <laughs> I've got a fair few blue items. So, yeah, I like this. And I like the fact that it's cold shoulder. So, for £5 each, I wasn't going to complain. And I like them. And I don't think these are classed as being summer wear. But... You sometimes get the summer nights when it gets a little bit nippy, but not too cold. Them two guys. So that was Boohoo. So like I said, very small. I didn't buy loads from Boohoo. Moving on swiftly to Cool Star. Now, this is going to be two items I got from Mother's Day from Cool Star that my daughter picked for me. Um, and then a top and two things that I got from another order and two orders that I received yesterday. So... Uh, there is a couple more things I'm getting from Killstar, literally, but I'm not going to be getting them anytime like this month or maybe next month. So I didn't want to wait, so I just thought I'd just do this anyway. Right, so on the, let's go and start the Mother's Day ones because that seems to be further back. And you have seen these t-shirts and you have seen me wear them. So the first one, I actually told my daughter that I liked this and she, she actually picked this for me. So this is the XXL. Now I've been wearing this a few times so I can give you an honest opinion on it and what I think. So it has been in the wardrobe. It was ironed. Now obviously you iron it inside out because it's got a print on it. But it washed really well. I always worry that the print is going to start fading off. Now this is more like a suede velvet kind of print. It's very nice. It's very luxurious. And then this is your normal print. Now I've washed this four times and I've ironed it twice because usually if I don't iron it I'll just hang it on a hanger like this which is probably what I've done here and just let it dry naturally. This was an XXL. I like my t-shirts to be baggy but I thought it was a little bit too big but like I said I like them. I've got a few XXL t-shirts that I like just to hang on me. Um, not everybody likes t-shirts too baggy but I actually like them like that and I did say to my daughter to get me an XXL I don't like t-shirts that are skin tight on you best tops by all means but not t-shirts I just I'm not it just doesn't appeal to me so that was that that she got me they do still do that guys 
how much I don't know because I'm not sure if that was the last one I got of that actually so that might be sold out now or it might be this that was the last one and then she got me this one which you've seen in pictures as well which is the wild at heart I'm better alone than lonely with you and she knows that I absolutely adore wolves as you can tell so yeah I've got a few wolf pictures around my house I do like wolves and I've got wolf statues somewhere as well so she got me this as a surprise I knew about that one I didn't know about this one and when it arrived I absolutely love it so it's got this suede effect all down the arm and it says kill star down the arm as well and then I think yeah she's got the wolf mask on her head kind of thing so like an either a native or more like a, a viking woman maybe or a shield maiden with a her wolf hat on either way it's it's beautiful so it's played at the back i've washed this three times and i've ironed it inside out it does have some print yeah so it says i'm better alone than alone with you and it has it down the arm as well i love these t-shirts i do i am partial to kill star t-shirts guys i do like i do like kill star t-shirts i do own quite a fair few of kill star t-shirts and i will still buy kill star t-shirts there's you can never have enough when it comes to t-shirts and then you've got certain tops like this which i sometimes say for, for best wear or if we're going out somewhere but like i'm coming on camera today so i thought i'd get my best wear on right moving on to the next order because obviously they were bought for me i ordered a face mask guys and i, I have mentioned in a video previous that i'm not overly keen it's not the design i love the design so this is the the face mask so it's one of these that I thought you're gonna laugh at me I thought you tie behind your head so I was tying it behind my head like like this and I was like oh but it looks stupid I just didn't like it and then I was tying it in I thought this just not don't feel right but what I think you're supposed to do guys is tie, is tie it first like so at whatever you need kind of thing depending how wide your face is your head is and then wear it and i think let me just let me just pull and i think i've been wearing it with the tag further up and then i've been putting it on like so but it doesn't sit you see what i mean it, it just pings off the ear so i might have it too tight i don't know but it don't stay on and it it's really annoying me and you know it it wasn't that expensive but i still want to be able to wear it so either i'm doing this wrong please tell me or it, it, i'm just not feeling it but i do like the whole moon and stars and it's got the star signs on there i've only just noticed that i didn't notice that before it's got my star sign on there which is aquarius but i'll do the star sign so that was that guys it was five pound or something like that then i bought this headband now i really did like the look of this so i went ahead and bought it when it arrived i thought oh oh they're a bit they don't feel very secure they're very very loose in actual fact i think that's just a part of the design of it um and then obviously you just you've seen me wear this loads of times guys you will have done this was about seven pound 46 i think they have this in a sale clearance section so if you go and have a look on the clearance section they may still have these left but it's for seven pound 49 i thought i like that i've got a few headbands now guys i'm trying to build up like um my headgear i did have two beautiful headbands that had the from gothic hats i had torn i had to get rid of them for the simple reason they were too heavy on my head on my neck and it was causing a lot of pain when i was wearing them and it broke my heart to get rid of them but i did sell them uh, for 30 pound each so i did miss out on a little bit of money on them but yeah never mind then i went ahead guys and bought this top now i have worn this once i haven't washed it yet but it needs washing as you can see i have worn it um i probably will put it in the wash i'm going to do a whole big wash with all these clothes now anyway and then i'm going to sit and iron them all and then they're, they're all going to look amazing now i probably won't do a try on with this if i well yeah i might as well might as well do a try on so this is um a zip that has like nothing there it's just a design 
and the neck is it's kind of a high neck a bit like this one so it's a bit like this one and then same as this one you've got your thumb inserts and you've got this mesh detail here which i absolutely love i have got a top with these sleeves so it is really nice on so it does show this part of your flesh which i'm not always the confident part of doing that but i, I kind of wear high like waisted trousers sometimes so you can't really notice it but this was um something like 15 pound guys i i use my honey cord i always use my honey cord on everything that i purchase on killstar boohoo anywhere jd williams simply be everywhere sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does but i'd rather get four or five pound off something than nothing at all every little penny counts so if you haven't tried honey guys I would go download it. I will put my code underneath in the links box if you want to go and join Honey. And then if you use it on your first purchase, you know, and then you can refer other people and you get points. Points turn into vouchers, vouchers turn into items and so forth. So let's carry on. So then I made two two more uh, two more items on Killstar. So they arrived yesterday. So I'm going to do them today because I haven't tried on the top yet, but I absolutely love it. So this is the other top to that one and to this one. So this was all around the same um, time. They all came out the same time. So they're pretty much all the same material, which is that rayon material. So so they all came out around about the same time. So um, like the same drop. So I pretty much trying to own all of them in that drop I think there might be one more top in that drop that I'll get and then I've got the whole set of that because I absolutely love these I know they do have a top like this but it's bigger I, nah I don't fancy that because it cuts you off at the waist and nah but I got this and it was only um I think I paid 13.47 because I used my code and I also used my five percent code that I got so this is the Irish long sleeve black top. This one, I don't know if it has the label of, of the name of it. No, it just says some people look for a spooky place, other people make a play, a play spooky. I always get tongue tied at that one. Um, but I will link them down in the description box if they're still available. I know that that, that is a lovely, lovely top. It does feel lovely on. Um, I haven't tried this one on, but I love the fact that it's cold shoulder. Again, I love cold shoulder. I love this. I love this. I still don't have that on there. But this little feature made me want it even more. Um, and I absolutely love it. I do have a choker that's got, is it the pentacle? Pentacle? Or am I gonna am I gonna get it wrong and it's a pentagram? I never know the freaking difference. Somebody tells me the pentacle it's in a circle. Pentagram, it's not like whatever. But this is an XXL. It says, may your laundry remain as black as your heart. <laughs> and it says, Carpenter Noctem Kill Star. So, yeah, I think these are all the Carpenter Noctem ones. Ah, oh, it's got to my, my sigil, my oh, black witch necklace. It was sticking to it then. Um, so, yeah, this is what it looks like. They have suspender belts, which is different, but I don't think you're going to be putting your stockings that far up are you? but i do like it i would have much preferred the d-rings to be here so i could have some chains dangling off but you can't have everything and then it is just plain black there so i do like this i will try it on i have not long eaten my tea so i've got a bit of a gut but by tonight that gut might have calmed down ah and there i am again catching it and then last but not least guys i ordered this why I have gone mad for tea at the minute. I drink a lot of fruit tea and I don't mean loose tea because um, I find loose tea more expensive, to be honest with you. Um, I may try some loose tea one day, maybe a fruit tea. I'm not partial to anything too harsh, guys. I do like something that's quite sweet. I've got a sweet tooth. So I do have the um, twinings. The I like the whole twinings range. And I also have, oh, I can't remember. Is it Tetley? There's the new tea bag, uh, black currant and raspberry. I absolutely adore them as well. I like the orange as well, orange and lemon. So I do like a bit of fruit tea. So I ordered myself this because it's a teapot. So 
So when it arrived, I thought it might have been bigger than this. So it is actually smaller than I anticipated, a lot smaller. So this is a teapot, but when you take it off, you are left with a teacup and a saucer. And the saucer says, as above, so below. And it has this detail on. And it's a good sturdy. Now, I've got a fair few of... Um, saucers because I have my Costa one as well with my Costa glass uh, I do like a whole set but I'm not happy with the size of this teacup guys it's tiny and I love a nice big jug but I did try something so what I did is I made a cup of tea with this and I drank it and I also made a cup of tea in this and then but what I found is because I was drinking this it had gone cold in here because I'd left it for too long so I don't know if that theory actually works. I think it's better to brew the tea and then just pour it straight into the empty cup and put your sugar in and so forth. Maybe that's the only way you can do it. You do get more than this cup in that. So you get two of these in there, which is why it's such a small cup. But I have I have found a company, a small independent business that make teapots um, and it's like paint dripping on them and they do bats and stuff. I'm going to get one of her teapots and one of her teacups so I probably won't buy another one from Killstar but it is quite cute it is nice as a um, if you don't use it as a teapot it's very nice as ornamental use in your kitchen all my kitchen's red at the minute and it's all um, WV campers but when we do move and we do have the kitchen that we want it, I'm just keeping it all to black and white most of my house is going to end up black white or purple or red I'm blue because that light's blue but yeah but it, it's nice it looks nice it, it's there was a tiny little chip in this as well guys but I thought I'm not gonna mess about marvering them and sending them back for that little tip I, that little chip so that's what it looks like together um, I think it's really pretty and then I have got a spoon a skull spoon which goes with it as well so yeah this was $29.99. Now, because I used my honey cord, I got it cheaper. I think I got it for $28.67, and that t shirt was $13.49. Altogether, altogether, I think it came to $37 or $40. It might have been $43.95 because postage on top. Yeah, something around that mark. But that's it, guys. I will do a try on at the end so you get to see what these Killstar t shirts look like. I probably won't try the wolf and the thingy one on because you've seen me and many of pictures with them on. Take care of yourself. Pop your comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Up, down, either way, it all helps the algorithm. And if you want to put a comment down below, please put a comment. I always, always respond to everybody's comments. So please, please. Don't be scared to talk to me. Come and talk to me. And if you want to hit the notification bell, it'll tell you when I'm going to upload, which is a little bit scatty at the moment. But hey-ho. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Let's Donc le côté, ça bibi de G, ça veut s'emballer, yeah. Ça veut s'emballer, yeah. Roule un terre, reviens sur terre.
don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.